Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Tiny Blue Games. My name, of course, is Seesaw Chris, and today we're talking about Final Fantasy XIV in 2019. Now, the topic of today's video is job quests. And this is actually something that, as a new player, I was a little bit confused about. Um, which is kind of crazy, looking back at it now, because it's, it's very obvious, and they give you lots of tips to go and find these job quests. Um, but I, I got to level 10 and I hadn't figured them out. And then I saw a comment in the, uh, it, well, in my comment section saying, hey, you should be doing your job quests. And I checked it out and I was like, oh crap, I got to go do my level five ones and my level 10 ones. Uh, this is the level 15 job quest, as you can see here. Uh, this one rewards a skill, um, sort of a jump back skill, which is pretty useful probably to get out of bad situations. So I'm pretty excited to get it. Um, it's a good thing to do anyways. Uh, I mean, main scenario quests and job quests. Um, I've learned these are the two things I should make sure I'm doing if I'm doing anything in Final Fantasy XIV. Um, but yeah, so my general thoughts on this is that I really do enjoy, uh, I, I enjoy the quests. Um, they're, they're a bit tedious. There's a lot of walking in the job ones. I find that you go and talk to the person sort of at your, uh, your job area. I think it's called Quiver's Hold um, for the archer. And then you have to walk like a great distance, kill like a few things. Maybe you're shooting targets, maybe you're killing a monster, and then you have to go all the way back. Yes, you have sort of the, uh, the sprint skill, you have the recall skill, but it is a lot of walking. So the actual gameplay of it is Eh. I do like the idea of the shooting the targets though. That's kind of cool that they're sort of hidden around um, and you have to find them and shoot them down. I, I think it's really nice thematically that it is uh, tied so heavily to the class. I'm very excited to see what other um, jobs are, uh, like what their, their quests have you do. Um, it would be a little disappointing if everyone just has to go and find targets and destroy them. It'd be cool if it was a very unique sort of uh, quest experience for uh, each person, like whatever the uh, the Lancers is, is something related to spears and the use of the spear or the lore of their class, like, you know what I'm saying? Something like that. Uh, so I haven't done the other ones, and I might be just um, getting myself way too hyped up for it, but we'll see what that looks like in the future. Uh, but for now, I, I very much enjoy the Archer ones. I think it makes it, uh, makes your class decision feel very important too, um, which is probably something that the game needs to be very careful with because a lot of games you have to actually level an entire new character to have a different class at max level. This one you have to, yes, level the job, but it's a little bit easier to have multiple jobs on the same, well, it's essentially possible to have jobs on the same person, but it's a little bit easier to have max level um, classes, right? And because of that, I feel like you could start to take each job a little bit more for granted. So having a lot more content surrounding each job and making sure people are aware, like you need to do job quest for this, for that, um, definitely I think adds a fair bit to the game. Uh, certainly I don't know what what all this looks like at Endgame. Maybe maybe job quests like are irrelevant past a certain expansion or something like that. But at the start here, that's how I feel about it. Um, and it really speaks to my interest in jobs in, uh, or classes rather, in a lot of MMOs. Um, some of my favorite MMOs, and I talk about MapleStory so much, because it's the other one that I, other game I'm doing a playthrough of right now, um, they have job advancement quests, right? And those would happen at level 10, at level 30, at level, well, it used to be level 70, but it's level 60 now, at level 100. And they're, they always, like, drove home the point that you are this class. The decisions you make on this class, the quests you do for this class are very important and they're defining to your character. So I, I think, if anything, these classes really anchor in that sense of personality, that sense of what job you're playing. Um, and I, I appreciate that. Now, in terms of the actual quest that you're seeing in the background here, um, it was once again to go find targets in a different area, six of them. Uh, did it really quick. Um, <laughs> did, it, did it really quick, uh, got back, and then I had to go to almost the same area, but a little bit further. 
um, and we're killing things and someone comes to help us and we, we end up killing them and all that. It's, it was pretty basic stuff. It wasn't anything truly stupendous. Um, I feel like there's a lot of talking, um, which is good. Uh, there's obviously someone that we don't like very much as a part of, like that's a part of the, uh, the quest chain. Um, I like that they always sort of throw in like a few NPCs that you don't like or something like that. So that's kind of cool. Um, it's, it's overall pretty, pretty interesting. I think it's nice also that the quest can reward very um, archer specific things, right? We can have, you know, uh, gear that's tailored to you, skills, which is a really cool thing to actually have to unlock a skill. Um, when I dinged level 15, it, it said, you know, you have to do job quests to get certain skills. And I think that's a very important thing to do because if there wasn't something meaningful kind of trapped behind these quests, I feel like a lot of people, especially the more experienced people, would probably just skip over them. And I mean, it's not necessarily a, a bad thing, but if you have content that becomes irre irrelevant like that, um, it's going to make people like just have less things to do and sort of I don't know, just walk around thinking that there's not much to do in the game. When there really is all these little portions of content that you can do and that you can enjoy. Uh, so I think certainly in the mindset I'm in right now, where it's about uh, taking things as slow as I can, really appreciating what the free trial has to offer, uh, I'm still blown away by the fact that everything I've done so far in the game has been for free. Um, I, I can't, like... The World of Warcraft free trial goes to level 20, and there is a lot you can do, but certainly with the amount of time I've played in this game compared to uh, WoW, I think I would have already hit that level 20 and would have been maybe looking at making another class and stuff like that, uh, which it does give you a lot of options to play around with that. Um, and, and the main reason I think it goes faster is you can actually do level or dungeons at level 10, uh, and that probably pushes it a little bit quicker. Uh, whereas this game, I feel like it, it actually took me quite a while to get to level 15. Um, e since like level 11, I've been pretty anxious to get to 15 and try out a dungeon. Um, and there is a dungeon video eventually coming out here. Uh, I I'm just, I'm very happy with how the game's been playing. I guess the other job related thing that I'm very interested to do is the actual advancement process to uh, become a bard. Because and I know they've kind of moved away from that in the expansions where a lot of like the new classes will just start at the level the expansion, well, not necessarily at the level the expansion starts, but I believe they don't start at the very beginning. Um, and I could be just making things up again. Uh, but I, I am a big fan of like the branching class system. Uh, and I, I was learning that the anarchist becomes both the scholar and the uh, summoner. And I, I I'm super drawn to that class now just because of this idea that it can branch out into do different jobs. Like, I think it's so cool um, to have that branching system. And I really wish more of the, the big MMOs, like the, the Guild Wars 2, the World of Warcraft, the Final Fantasy XIV, Elder Scrolls Online, they had more of the branching system, right? Whereas a lot of the free-to-play MMOs that... Uh, you know, aren't necessarily great in a lot of other ways, they have this really cool class system where you, you start as like maybe a warrior and then you can become a spearman or a, a fighter. Um, it's it's a very cool system to have. And I'm, I'm happy that there's still a lot of classes or a lot of jobs um, or some jobs. I don't know if it's a lot uh, that can do this in this game. Is there any other ones apart from the ar anarchist? Um, I'm not entirely sure. But it's it's a super cool system, and I'm very excited to see like how the transition from Archer to Bard goes. Is it just another, I would assume it's another uh, job quest, uh, but I would assume it's maybe a bit more extreme since it would be kind of a job advancement. Um, what, what do they call that? Like, is it a job advancement in this game, or is it like some sort of uh, passage of rights or something like that? I'm not sure. <laughs> uh, but it, it's probably the thing I'm most excited for now that I've hit level that I can start doing dungeons uh, because I, I do fully I think intend to play this character all the way to bard um, around you know to the level 35 cap uh, before I, I try out any other classes and already that's kind of an issue because I'm, I'm starting to get the itch to try out some of these classes the more I see them um, and specifically ever since I looked at the uh, 
uh, shadow bringers job actions sort of preview I, i've been very interested in some of the classes um and seeing how they play so we'll see how that goes but that's technically my goal right now is still to get the bard to max level of the trial and really get a good scope for the actual content of the game uh, and then branch out to some of the other jobs and then if i'm very happy uh, with it i'll probably uh, look at going higher into the game because I've, I've got so much support from you guys it's been really quite humbling actually uh, but yeah that's probably where i want to end this video i'm sorry if it was a little bit more rambly than some of my other ones um, I knew I wanted to talk about job quests, but I've also been talking about them periodically through some of my other videos. Um, and it, it's also hard because it's kind of speculative at this point. Like, I don't know what the job quests turn into in the future. So, yeah. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, if you're new here, we're Tiny Blue Games. We are a casual gaming community. Uh, we like to bounce around between different MMOs. Uh, we also have a uh, other channel that might be active now <laughs> i'm not sure what i'm gonna like post onto that channel but it's tiny blue games mobile you'll see it in the uh, featured channel area and it's more mobile game centric uh, the first video is going to be about mobile old school runescape um, but yes I, I know a lot of people who like mmos and computer games don't love mobile stuff so that's the separation i, I think that's a smart way to do it but yeah so if you do enjoy the video, please give it a like, um, but I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.